if you treat your business like a hobby, it will pay you like a hobby. Make other people believe that you are an authority and an expert. You have to invest in things in order to get where you wanna be. So we're gonna go get the drone out and see what we're gonna get right now. So we're just gonna be talking about branding and what it actually takes to make money online. A lot of YouTubers out there, they're amazing, amazing at teaching you how to make your cinematic videos, how to you know choose the right equipment and all that. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff gets lost when it comes to making money. Putting a camera in front of your face can be one of the most beneficial things you could ever, ever do for your career. And I don't really care what you're into. What's up? We're at the Tiffany Falls in Hamilton, Ontario, and we're gonna go for a nice hike with the brand new SL2 Rebel Canon camera. I think I said it in reverse, but it doesn't matter. This is the first day actually using this camera, so I hope it focuses in, focuses in nicely. It's a little slippery, it's a little muddy. We're gonna walk over here. She's got an important phone call, so we're just gonna be talking about branding and what it actually takes to make money online. Now, I'm not referring to making money on YouTube per se. A lot of YouTubers out there, they're amazing, amazing at teaching you how to make your cinematic videos, how to you know choose the right equipment and all that. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff gets lost when it comes to making money. When I say making money, I mean you can make and an income being a, a brand ambassador. And it's actually quite easy to do that. Marketing and branding, that is exactly what I do for big brands, small brands. And I started a company called The Laundry Box. I founded a company called Mad Artist Publishing. almost a quarter million subscribers on YouTube. And you make a pretty nice uh, income at it. And right now it's being managed just by other people who are uploading content and aggregating content based on the templates that I've set up. So I can move on to other things, such as uh, vlogging. Oh! This is what happens when you get 100,000. Buying a Ferrari or a Lamborghini is one of the best investments you can possibly make. Yeah, right. let's do the Lambos. Take the, take the. Oh my God. Try it. Putting a camera in front of your face can be one of the most beneficial things you could ever, ever do for your career. And I don't really care what you're into. Even animals like hiking. So back to what I was saying, making money online. You don't necessarily even have to have a lot of subscribers. The point in creating a brand is to make other people believe that you are an authority and an expert on the subjects that you want to be in. We can talk about passion and we can talk about the things that you may want to do in life, but that's a whole other that's a whole other video. So this is just gonna be a, a kind of a quick tips on how to get started in creating your own personal brand. Eventually personal brands can turn into businesses. Yes, exactly wrong, wrong shoes. Don't be on your phone and walking like... Who does that? But you're missing the beauty that is the waterfall. So right now, right now I am convincing Larissa there to come towards the falls because the pictures are gonna be way better. So look at her go. 
Uh, here? There. Just, yeah, there you go. All right, let's take some selfies. Those are all the people who are not brave enough to come here. We're photobombing all their photos. So we're gonna go get the drone out and see what we're gonna get right now. Yeah, we got a brave one over there. Well, unfortunately we took the Mavic out and it just did not pan out for us. There's some sort of interference, so we're gonna pack it up. Clearly you gotta be prepared when you go and shoots like this, otherwise it's a waste of it. Hey, what are you doing? So what if you fall? Then I won't even know. You're gonna just deport it. I'm gonna get deported? She says I'm gonna get deported. In order to build up your personal brand and have companies sending you free stuff to review or even paying you, you must create a perception of you as the authority in that area. So now whether that's uh, fashion, whether that's food, business, anything. You can be a teacher and start a YouTube channel telling other teachers how to teach. All of a sudden, you have other people who respect you because of the tips that you are sharing with everybody. And these tips could be the same ones that everybody knows. The difference between everybody else and you is that you are sharing them with people, whereas those other people are not. And that is why people will notice and people start paying you in various ways. Eventually it's gonna create a ripple effect and you'll be exactly where you want to be. So, she's right behind me, guys. Go on GoDaddy.com, get yourself a nice domain name. Going back to the teacher example, teachertips.com, for example, that would be something that I would register if it's not available. Get the dot teachers tips.com then set yourself up a website you can go on wix.com you can go and buy something from GoDaddy as a web builder or you can go and build your own the point is go out and get it so you can be closer to your goal whatever that goal may be it's gonna cost you money you have to invest in things in order to get where you want to be if you treat your business like a hobby it will pay you like a hobby. Treat it like a business and then it will pay you like a business. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. It's getting wet and muddy again. So I think that is it for this vlogging session. How was it? How was the fall? It was amazing, right? You gotta go get your shoes. I'm gonna go to pay less and you're gonna buy new shoes right now. What did you think a hike is? Walk is a walk, a hike is a hike. Am I, am I missing something? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You broke the camera. Cut the camera, turn off. Stop recording.